Forum NG is an alternative to the forum activity provided by Moodle. It's similar to the standard Moodle forum type, but adds extra functionality, such as sticky discussions, flagging posts, saving draft posts, time-restricted posts, and reporting participation by users. It's worth being aware of the differences in the setup of a forum NG activity compared to a Moodle forum. In the General section, there is an option to add an email address so that users can report offensive posts. If an email address is supplied, then a report link appears next to each post. Users can click the link to report offensive posts. The information will be sent to the email address entered here. More than one email address can be added, so long as they are separated by a semicolon. In Forum NG, tutors can choose to identify themselves as moderators when making a post. If the Enable Anonymous Moderator Posts option is selected in the settings, they can also choose to hide their name when making posts as a moderator. In the Limit Posts section, you can choose the period when users are allowed to post to the activity. You can also set a limit on the number of posts a user can make in a predefined period. A warning is displayed when a user is only allowed three more posts. If you're using the same forum over an extended period, for example, it may be in a program level course that is continually used, then you have options to manage old discussion threads. You can choose the time period after which discussions are considered as old. You can then choose to delete them permanently, automatically lock them to make them read only, move them to another forum. For example, you might have an archive forum. You can select any forum on the same course. When creating a new post, there are some extra options compared to posting to a standard Moodle forum. The Post As option enables tutors to identify themselves as a forum moderator or post as a moderator with their profile hidden from students if this has been chosen in the settings as mentioned previously. The Display Period option can be used to hide discussions from students until or after a certain date. While hidden, students don't see the discussion at all. For tutors, it shows on the discussion list in gray with a clock icon. The Sticky Discussion option makes the discussion stay on top of the list even after newer discussions are posted. Sticky discussions are displayed on the list with an up arrow icon. You can have more than one sticky discussion. The Save as Draft button can be used to save the post for completion later. A confirmation message appears at the top of the page. The draft post is available on the home page of the forum. Click on the post title to return to the editing screen. You can also decide to make posts sticky or non-sticky from the main forum page. You can flag posts that you want to review at a later date so that they're easier to find. To flag a post, click on the flag icon in the top right corner. The flag turns from white to black. If you want to flag a reply, you'll have to expand it to see the icon. On the home page of the forum, Find the Flagged Posts section at the bottom of the Discussion Topics list. You can get some data on participation by users in the forum. 
click on Participation by User to view a table with a row for each user, displaying a count of discussions started and replies made, as well as a link to display all their posts. Click on the Show Usage button to see more general forum usage statistics. At the top of the usage page, you can see leaderboards for the most replies made and most discussions started. In the center of the page is a graphical representation of the number of posts made each day. You can define a particular time period if desired. At the bottom of the page are two further leaderboards showing the most read discussions and most flagged posts.